Uh, so get this, some of your money now reportedly going to the Taliban? Well, it's a little confusing, but it has to do with a $2.16 billion transportation contract that apparently the United States has to promote Afghan businesses. And within that, in the fine print somewhere, it could be that your tax dollars are actually going to fund the Taliban. Well, in particular, a whole bunch of money is going to uh, fund trucking operations across Afghanistan to get military supplies different places. And it sounds like a lot of the money that we are giving these uh, eight various trucking companies somehow winds up and we have tracked the money it goes from our coffers directly through uh, big shots in the Afghanistan government and winds up in the pockets of the insurgents. We usually do this in Iraq. We did it through private contractors, but this time we want to try to build up the local economy by hiring local Afghans Good idea. who have affiliations with the local Taliban who actually pay off the Taliban not to attack the American <laughs> stuff. So therefore, Why don't we just pay the Taliban directly? It's, we might as well be, yeah. Steve. So, uh, and it's so aggravating because it's our money. It's $2.16 billion has gone into the pockets of the Taliban. Band. Petraeus knew this over the summer, commissioned, put a commission together to look into it, and then Congressman John Tierney of Massachusetts, who was chairman of the subcommittee on this of discovery and investigation and oversight, he said this is a mess, and he said that over the summer as well, and now we're finally getting to the conclusion with the report complete. Right, and in addition, apparently to cash, in some cases, uh, we wound up, uh, the bad guys, the insurgents, got uh, guns and explosives as well. There is some good news to it, even though we know that it's going on. Apparently, we're going to revamp the system coming up in about a month and a half. So with any luck, things will change.